of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Folks, I posted the chart of the E-mini S&P, and before that, I posted the chart of the Hang Sing Index showing you the 382 on the long-term weekly basis. But the chart that we're looking at here is the daily chart, uh, I believe – no, excuse me, it's the four-hour chart – of the uh, E-mini S&P going back over the last uh, several weeks. And you'll notice that we hit that 382 retracement there at 39.28 there on Friday. We got filled. The market closed at 39.13. And yet today uh, it uh, took off like a rocket. Well, the way we handled that was that we put a 10-point stop on it. And the reason why is if it doesn't hold, it's most probably going to go up to the 50% level. And there you see it right there. 3971 the high on the day was 3973 we've sold off a little bit from that level but that just shows you exactly where we are right there now those of you that belong to the 24/7 service that we have you'll notice by the inflection in my voice I was really expecting a big gap down in these markets uh, over the weekend and when we didn't get that that was the first danger sign the second danger sign was the Hang Seng, instead of opening lower, opened higher, was up another 300 points, taking out the previous day's high, second point. And then the third point, I'm going to bring it up to you because it's very important to watch what's happening, you know, in the interest rate uh, environment. And what you'll see here, this is a chart. Uh, let's get this up here so we can see it. Hold on one second. We'll get this up here and you'll see there where we are. There's where we go. And you'll see that uh, this is the – look at the beautiful three-drive pattern, folks. Isn't that beautiful? Just absolutely perfect right there at the top. Then the market came down. And look, see, there's where we were. I really thought we were going to be breaking out to the upside, higher interest rates. But what happened was the market started lower and then became really active to the downside. That's a huge move on the notes for one day. And that means the ABCD is somewhere down in this area, most probably. So that's what – caught the fire of the uh, stock market. The other thing that was a little disappointing, we had a sell signal in gold at 1888 and a half, and it only got to 1887, which was a little frustrating, and now it's about $20 under that. And then also uh, we had a nice trade in crude oil that, uh, that worked out pretty good. So the main thing I wanted to try to explain to you that when you have these things that you really expect, Always remember, things can go wrong, and that's what you really have to do. If Mark Douglas taught me anything, then the six years that we worked together here in the office, the one thing that he did tell me, and that is when things go wrong, and they can, you've got to be able to get out of the way. My problem is I don't reverse, and I, this is one of those days where I actually saw the darn thing getting ready to go up, and I had some other things going on that were working okay, so I didn't do it, and in a way it went to the upside. But uh, that's just the way it goes. Now, the second part of this, by the way, our guest today, we have uh, Norm Winsky is our guest at the break. Uh, tomorrow we have Stan Harley. Uh, on Thursday we're going to have uh, Bill Meridian. And on Friday we are going to have uh, Peter Elides. Those are my guests all locked up for this week, so I think we'll have a, a really good week. Anyway, anyway, it's Bill Meridian will be on Thursday, Al. I, I put that wrong. He'll be on Thursday and not on Wednesday. And by the way, Mr. Tim Bost is okay. He is not doing much as far as the working environment. His Twitter account is still active and stuff, but he's still resting up. It's going to be quite a while before we have Tim on, which is sort of sad because he's really pretty good at what we could look at. Now, I wanted to share with you a really interesting uh, chart, and it's also a good way to learn you know, how to do breakouts and stuff like this. But this was a chart that we got from uh, 
our good friend Tom Hugard over the uh, w- uh, over the weekend, and this is uh, the natural gas. And I, because we've been waiting for a bottom in natural gas, you'll notice the thing that I want to point out to you is if you will look at these blue swings here, you just see there's one, two, three, four, five, six harmonic numbers in a row. All of those rallies, folks, every single one of them was a three A two of the previous. I mean, that's just amazing. And then when this market broke out of this level today, it just took off. It was the first time that it broke above those numbers. When it breaks above a harmonic number, when you got a market that's going down like that, you could just literally draw a trend line. You know, the, the market, just it's just incredible. Well, we've got to, we're trading way up in here, folks. That's, that thing's moved about $4,000 today just on that breakout to the upside. Now, that... If you can learn to do that, then you've got a real uh, prize going for yourself because that tells you that you're able to trade with the trend and the trend has changed because once we went above this, the trend had changed. Each time that it rallied, it rallied exactly the same for five straight times. And then on this one right here, bada bing, bada boom, away it went. What it did was it backed off just a little bit and then exploded you know, to the upside. So. That's important to learn something like that. Those are things that, you know, if you read a lot of books and you see uh, how, how to trade long-term trends and stuff like that, it can be very, very helpful. But each of those rallies was a 382 of the previous day, and that is just an amazing thing. Now, I wanted to share with you a market that has also been extremely strong and uh, should be coming up to an area where it should be a, a very, very interesting where it's going to go from here. This is a hourly chart here, I believe, on the uh, – yes, it's an hourly chart on the uh, DAX index. That's uh, one that's traded over there. So you can see here that we, we probably reached it because this was earlier in the morning. So we should have reached all of those objectives in the DAX today also. Here again, you can see in the purple uh, Gartley pattern right there at the 61% retracement – that's when it took off. It backed off early in the morning. You can see the back off early in the morning, and then boom, away it went to the upside. So can't stand in front of those freight trains. This freight train was fueled by the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes you know, going up, i.e. lower interest rates, and that's why the market took off. That was the reasoning that they gave. It doesn't make any difference what the reason was. That market was poised to go higher. And that's the main thing that you've got to remember. You can't stand in front of it. I sent a video out today. You know, I, I don't apologize for any of the trades I do, folks. You know, because I might lose six or seven in a row, but I'm going to win eight or nine in a row. And I'm not going to be bragging if I win eight or nine in a row either. I just keep doing the trades that I see I can do. I can do simple things, folks, but simple things are good. Come simplicity beats complexity that's what i do i do one thing really good i know how to use a b c d and throw in a little bit of sacred geometry fibonacci stuff which is good and that's my that's my way that i've done this i've done this for years i'm, I'm not a predictor of what the market does i'm a predictor of what i can make today and that's the story and i'm sticking to it we'll be right back after we pay a few bills Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted an interesting chart that comes from uh, Bloomberg, by the way, of J.P. Morgan. And uh, what I'd like to show you here is the fact that they're showing the relationships of the stock market versus new orders of inventories. That's the first chart on the left. Under that is leading indicators as far as your earnings is going. And then on the upper, upper right, it's uh, – the European unions, it's also their uh, way of looking at it, less inventories coming in. And then there's Europe's energy bill. It shows what that is, and it's going, you know, crazy to the upside. And not only that, but they're having a warm, warm winter in uh, there. There are some places in Switzerland and even in Italy. Uh, well, Italy's in the Alps, too, but they have very little snow, which is really uh, – that's not good if you're a, a ski uh, a owner. But anyway – uh, at least it's not the end of the world as far as a you know a monstrous bad winter that we've had uh, over the years. That's for sure. It can really get nasty. Now, there's one other one that I wanted to point out uh, to you. This also comes from uh, Bloomberg and the Schiller and also the, the, the S&P company and also J.P. Morgan. And what this is showing you, let's just get this up here so we can see it. It shows you now. I, the reason why I'm bringing it up there's a there's a method of this madness in here, and it shows you all the things that have happened during these times, folks. This to, when I hear stuff like this, I I don't hear anything. I mean, I I watch Bloomberg early in the morning to get an idea that the end of the world has not happened, and if it does happen, I'll keep on trading. But the, I I, I want to see how the market reacts to the news and stuff like that, and that's that's what I'm interested in. You know, I I'm not I'm not a predictor of the market. I used to try to do that, and I did pretty good for a short period of time. But my my bread and butter comes from one thing, folks: A B equals C D. And I see Johnny in the back of the room clapping. I know how to use that darn thing. I know how to use Fibonacci numbers, and I know how to use harmonic numbers to tell me do I catch all these moves? Of course not. But the one thing I don't do is I don't stand in front of a god darn freight train and get run over. Like some people that we've seen here this past week, of uh, you know they bought something and watched it go from two four two hundred and forty dollars a share down to five dollars a share. Now somewhere during that time there must have been a sell signal somewhere, but uh, unfortunately they don't uh, heed to that, and that makes it really difficult for them to make any money. That I don't really care 
what really happens with the news. I want to see how it responds to the news. Does it bother me? Yes, sometimes it does. And a perfect example of that was here over the weekend. I had one of the strongest sell signals that I could possibly get up there at 39.28. I mean, the cash S&P hit the 618. The Dow Jones hit, one, hit the 618. The E-mini S&P hit the 618. The Russell didn't quite get there, and then the NASDAQ was way below it. But it didn't make anything, make any difference because once the stock market opened and they started to see Treasury notes started to, you know, go down in interest rates, i.e., you know, interest rates going low, uh, lower, you know, bonds going higher, that turned the whole market. So that's what, what is important. And we're looking at something on a shorter time frame like I do. That makes it very, very important that you don't listen to the news because the doggone thing is going to affect your thinking because you can't, you know, someone saying, well, they're going to drop interest rates in three months. If you're trading a 15 minute chart on the euro or whatever, <laughs> not going to happen, boys and girls. It really isn't. That's just not going to happen. Bringing mind a euro. One of the things that I did early this morning, uh, well, it was actually uh, it was a Sunday night. It was a Sunday night when I give my early morning after I get the calls on Sunday night. I look at the market to see what it's doing. And one of the things that I was watching, you know, really closely was the euro. And I wanted to point it out. Uh, in fact, is, here's the chart that I sent out. And I sent this out again uh, early Sunday when the market opened on Sunday night. You'll see that we were sitting right there at that 61% retracement. And I said, don't try to sell that. And the reason why is look at that bar, folks. You know, the one dangerous things you have in ABCD patterns is when you have that really strong, you know, motion coming out of that area, you've got to be very, very careful. And all it was was making a 50% retracement of the low we made, you know, more than a month ago, you know, way back in uh, right around Christmas time. So it's got all the way up here. It's almost ready to possibly break out to the upside, whether it will or not. I don't know. All I'm doing is I don't want to sell it when it has that big of a range up. I will wait till it gets up here higher to the 78% level and maybe even a 127. I have to have something in, be in between here to give me an idea that, yeah, there's a possibility that it might stop there because that's what these patterns are for. They're probabilities that really work well. You're talking 60% of the time, and the payoffs are better than 3 to 1. And you don't get those odds in Las Vegas, that's for sure. So anyway, that's what you're paying attention to. Oh, by the way, this week, this weekend or tonight is the football championships. And uh, the big underdog are the Horned Toads of TCU, Texas Christian University, are playing um, Georgia. And you get 13 and a half points if you take the, the TCU team and boys and girls. I would take that TCU team because the 13 and a half points is a lot of points and they're a good team. You know, they're, they're, they're not, uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I hope that helps. Anyway, those are the things that I'm really paying attention to today. We've had a possible huge breakout in stocks today going above that three thirty nine seventy one level. Should we do that? That's telling us that we're going to go a whole lot higher. But the one to watch is that gold market because the big ABCD on the gold and the 61% retracement of the whole darn move uh, from the all-time highs comes in at 1899. Uh, so that's going to be a really interesting one to see. We're trading about $25 under that right now, but that's what we're paying attention to here. Uh, so far today. Now, if you do have any questions, Norm will be on, and then we'll also uh, have a show tomorrow with Stan Harley. But uh, the number to call into is 877 927 6648, and I'll try to answer any questions that I can. And oh my goodness, I forgot the most important one, and that is copper. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I'm sorry, sir, I did forget this. Mr. Blackmore asked me to do this. Here is the uh, chart of copper as you can see here we broke out uh, this was in the newsletter when <laughs> we broke out above this level right here early this morning we were trading at 401 we've been as high as 405 and it looks like we're going to go up to the 416 to 423 level based on this breakout and look look at these look at the 135 pattern right here folks uh, three days ago you're sitting right there that's a perfect 135 higher bottoms higher tops that's right out of Gartley's book 
page 222. It's exactly the same chart, except it could have been, you know, sophisticated automobile company or whatever it was back in the 30s. But that's exactly the same pattern as you're looking here in copper. That is higher tops, higher bottoms. The trend has turned up, and we are on our way in copper uh, to the upside. So trade, the last I saw was around 404, but 423 is what we're looking for uh, in the copper market. So those are the ones that I'm looking at. Now, we will have Norm coming up here at the break, so we'll be right back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe with a little bit of technical expertise and a lot of luck, we're going to have Norm Winsky in the house. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. Can you hear me okay? Oh, absolutely. Everything's good. Living the dream on the green side of the grass today over here, Norm. So listen, take it away for Astro Trends and tell us what you're looking for. All right. Just want to wish everybody done. first a happy, a happy new year. And remind you, I think one of your favorite all-time people, his birthday was yesterday. Elvis? It sure was. <laughs> thank you. Thank you thank Elvis you Aaron much. Presley, <laughs> Tupelo, thank, Mississippi, thank 1935. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. And then today's birthday is uh, Richard Nixon. Uh huh. Who said on his that. birthday in 1973, January the 9th, 1973, had yeah. held a press conference for his birthday. And the reporter asked him, uh, uh, Mr. President, Mr. President, you might have noticed that 
The Dow Jones has gotten over a thousand, which it had trouble doing for many years. And, and do you have any comments on the economy and the stock market? And President Nixon said, if I were president, I'd be buying stocks. All Americans should buy stocks. And you know what happened then, Larry? <laughs> Probably dropped 300 points. Two days know. later, we topped out at 1061 on the Dow, and we went into the greatest bear market since the 30s. Right? Well, you uh, might remember, remember that. that. 73, 74 bear market, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> President Nixon was a perfect reverse barometer. Okay, I got a lot of stuff to get through here, so we're going to have to. I recommend the folks take a screenshot. I'm going to give you about 15 seconds to do that, or you can go back and listen, watch the video again, and then I'm going to show you what happened from when I was on uh, the forecast I made when I was last on Larry's show on, the, I believe, the 19th of December. All right, so we had, uh, I'm just going to run through these real quick. We had Jupiter changing signs entering the sign of Aries the night of the 19th of December, the morning of the 20th. Uh, that was uh, these markets here, coffee, corn, gold, silver, sugar. Uh, the morning of the 21st, we had Mercury uh, Mercury cycle. Uh, anytime we have Mercury, we look at the grains. And uh, the stocks are included on everything, regardless of whether I mention them or not. And then the night of the 22nd, we had a new moon in the sign of Capricorn. Anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we round up the usual suspects, financial grains, precious metals. And because it was in Capricorn, we were running a special on coffee. And then the night of the 23rd, that was a weekend. Over the weekend, we had Venus Aphelion. That's Venus 225-day cycle. The planets are elliptical, not circular around the sun. So there's a point where they are at their farthest and, and when they are at the nearest. And aphelion is when Venus was at its farthest point from the sun. We look at the Venus markets, cattle, copper, and the sun markets, because it's related to the sun. Uh, cattle, copper, Venus, corn is sun, cotton is Venus, gold is sun, sugar, and wheat are Venus. All right, so then we, ha we also use the na U.S. natal chart. July the 4th, 1776, where the planets were then, and compare the planets where they are now to those those planets. And Pluto was lining up with the U.S. chart there the night of the 27th. And so anytime we had the U.S. chart, U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then the, as I emphasized on the, when I was last on the show, this uh, two-event cluster here with Mercury, Mercury will be it was at zero north latitude the night of the 28th. And also, as they say on late night TV, wait, that's not all. Mercury was in Capricorn and turned retrograde. So you had two big Mercury cycles there the night of the 28th. Anytime we have Mercury, that's grains, plus the Mercury in Capricorn, retrograde was coffee. So and all, you know, keep in mind, it's always stocks. Stocks are the big basket of everything. It responds to all these points. So here's the corn now. We have the corn and they had the Jupiter Going into Aries, there's a nice low there on the corn. The next point, the mercury point, did not work. That's a miss. That's a red arrow. It pulled back into our next point there with the new moon, and that was a nice low. And then, But the next day, we had a point there that didn't work. That was the Venus Happy Healing, I believe. But our double whammy here with mercury on the night of the 28th, going into the opening of the 29th, was a pretty nice top. It did go a few pennies against you a day later, and then it had a big drop. Here's the soybeans. They were a little simpler. Uh, the beans, uh, here's your mercury point there. That was a little short-term top for the beans. And then they pulled back into the moon for a nice low. And then they went up into our double mercury whammy there. And it did go like just like corn. It went a little bit against you the next day. But then I had a big drop after that. So those were all winners on the beans. Here's the wheat. The wheat uh, was uh, involved in the Jupiter uh, changing signs there. And so that was a right near a low there. And we went up. Uh, this was going sideways the next day for a day for a little while there. And so that Mercury point is a pass. That's a yellow box there is a pass. We pulled down into the moon for a nice low and then up into the next point, which was... Uh, the uh, 27, uh, uh, oh, I forgot, 20, Venus, Venus, oh, Venus Happy Helium, that was a nice little one, a short, one day high there, pulled back and then went back up for the Mercury double whammy there for a top, for a one day top, and then you did go a little bit higher the next day, and then the big down, just like the other grains did. 
Here's cattle was just going sideways on our Venus point, Venus happy helium. So that was a pass. That was a nothing. Uh, cotton had a bounce up into the Venus happy helium, a little short-term top there, and then pulled down. So you had a chance to make some money there. Here's coffee on the uh, Dow Jupiter going into Aries. Uh, that was a, a low there. You rallied up, and then you went sideways for the moon. Uh, but then we rallied up into the Mercury retrograde in Capricorn, and that was a nice top there, and that's a, lots of money there. Yes, you know, Larry, with the, the coffee is a beast. Every penny is $375. So uh, let's see, what do you got about a 15-cent move there? What was that, about $5,000, Larry? That sound about right? Yeah, it's what, about $4,875.19. Oh, okay, well, that's approximate, though, right? Yes, right. Go right ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's your sugar going up and missed on our Jupiter going in the Aries point there. Kept going up, but we had a beautiful top here on the Venus aphelion there over the into the opening of the 27th, and then had a big drop there from about 21 down to almost 19, almost two full handles on sugar. It's uh, probably about two grand there. Here's you were just talking about copper, I think, Larry, a little while ago. And the Venus happy you know, Venus is a co-ruler of copper. And look at that. Look at that spike high there for copper on mm -hmm. immediately following Venus happy helium. And then a big drop. And copper is a copper is another deep pocket market. Often moves five to ten cents in a day, and every penny is two hundred fifty dollars. Here's silver pulled back into Jupiter into Aries right there. And it made a nice low there and popped up pulled back into the moon and then it popped up from there so you had two opportunities to make some money there here's gold pulling back in the jupiter in the areas there for a low popped up and came back down and then you had another chance to make some money on the moon the next point was the venus happy helium and that did not work so well you just went side kind of upward to sideways so you might have probably had a small loss there here's the s p you know, uh, had all these points here for the S&P, and let's see, Jupiter in the Aries there for a low. We went up for the next one with Mercury, uh, e maximum elongation, Mercury cycle there. Then we pulled down for the high, pulled down into the moon there for a little short-term low, popped up there for the Venus happy helium, went sideways for the uh, one on the 28th is the uh, uh, Pluto to the U.S. chart. Then we pulled down for the Mercury double whammy there for a nice low, and then we popped up. It was really choppy, and as you mentioned, Larry, we've kind of broken out of this whole long uh, two-week, uh, two three-week consolidation there to the upside. Oh, sure, we yeah, got a summer. You might think that if there. you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Would you like to continue, Norman? Yes, sir, Larry. You hear me okay? You're coming in great, buddy. Great. Super. All right. So I was just finishing up on the S&P there. So we had uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six out of seven points there. They're all winners. And we took a pass on the uh, on the one that we didn't do anything. We didn't do anything there on that one. So here's the T-Bonds. He had a little bit of a rally into the new moon. And that was a nice top. And then they had a big drop. We were one day early on our U.S. point there on the night of the 27th and the 28th, and then we uh, that was, uh, and then we got there here to the uh, oh because that was two days ahead of the low over there on the 30th. One day is okay, two days not okay. So I had mm -hmm. to mark that as a miss. And then the uh, 28th open, uh, you were had a, a temporary winner, but then it went down and made a little bit of lower low next day, but not by much. And then you had the big big rally into the into the end of the year there, right? And here's your U.S. dollar. The, the if you like to trade currencies, the currencies dance to the moon. Both on the U.S. I also add the U.S. factors to that. So, so there we go. So here's the moon. You made a little short-term top there. Went back up. Made another top here on the on the U.S. point there. I believe that was, that was the twenty. Seventh, and then that point there, the 28th. Yeah, that's the U.S. point there, going into the 29th. So those were all. Well, the, this was a day ahead of the uh, that high there, and then you had the drop there. So there we go. So now here's your uh, different cur foreign currencies, and they all uh, in regard to the new moon that we had on the night of the 22nd. There's the Aussie dollar. It had a nice pullback into the um, opening of the 23rd. Uh, BP went nowhere, British pound it went nowhere, and so that was a miss. Uh, Canadian dollar did uh, pull back nicely right around the moon there. And if you bought on the next morning's opening, you did well. Here's the euro pulled down into the moon and then had a bit of a rally. So you had a chance to make some money there. Yen did probably the worst of the bunch, and they just kept going down and did not turn on the moon. Here's the Swiss franc did pulled nicely right, made it flow right on the day following the moon, and then up, up, up. And so you had a chance to make some money there. So if you add up the green arrows and the red arrows, 37 winners, 7 misses out of 44 equals 84.09%. Here's uh, something I think you'll be interested in, Larry. Here's the results for my December uh, you know, Bradley-inspired norm planetary mm -hmm. index, you know. And I draw the blue line in advance of the month. Uh, there's the dates across there for December. And then at the end of the month, I overlay the black bars, S&P 10-minute bars on top so you can see the results. Notice there's a full moon there, and we make a low. Here's a new moon there, and you made a low. Here's that Mercury retrograde, and uh, you made a low there, I believe, on the S&P. And it, it correlated pretty nicely with the blue line. Not perfect, you know, but it was pretty good. And here's what's coming up. So I ask you to come on your show. I was hoping we'd get on a day or so earlier. 
just to give you a heads up, we had the moon over the weekend, actually Friday evening. Uh, and so we were looking for a possible change in trend over the weekend, as you were, Larry. And we had something this morning, too. Uh, but the problem is, and you and I are both uh, 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 street counters, I think, you know, S-T-R-E-A-K, uh, <laughs> in that we only went up one day. You know, we've only had a one day. We had a one day street going into the change of trend window. And I told my clients that this was not a high confidence change of trend window. Because of that, you got to have a good setup to have a good trade. So even though we had this time, it may bleed over into tonight. Well, we have another change of trend to the U.S. chart, and so that might be where you, the turn comes either you know late today or tomorrow. And if we stay up near the highs here, then I'd be looking for a change in trend early tomorrow. Uh, the night of the 11th, we have another. We have Jupiter lining up with Saturn, and that's for coffee and copper, also the stock market. And then you know we've had a couple planets going retro be in retrograde motion the last several weeks, and by the, that includes Mars is going to turn direct on the afternoon of the 12th, and Mercury will turn direct the night of the 17th. So if you'd like more information on this, I'll be happy to give you a mini class and explain some of the terminology here. Actually, once you learn the terminology, this is all very simple. There's no high math. It's all grade school stuff. I've been doing all this stuff now for 45, 50 years as a professional 45. Started out in 1975, bought a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange. I was a market maker there on the CBOE and also traded on the Chicago Board of Trade for a while. And so I got a little bit of experience doing this stuff. And you can contact me. My Please note, if you're a longtime listener, my phone has changed to 239-216-2578, and my email has changed in Winsky at yahoo.com, or you can call me if you're overseas. Please call me for free in Winsky underscore one. Looking forward to helping some of the folks there. Larry, anybody have any questions in the den? I oh, have one question for one of our listeners, and that is, do you view any particular – I know you look at the lunar – the question is, which particular – a planetary pair that you like the best, if there is such a thing, like I Moon like and them Mercury. Or, I, don't or... like them or, I don't like them or dislike them. They all do th certain things. The, okay. the, the, the the structure of the solar system is such that uh, you have planets that are close to the sun, like Mercury is the closest. It takes 88 days for Mercury to go around. It's a high-frequency cycle, but it's low power. There's a trade-off between the frequency of the cycle and the power of the cycle. You get out to the outer planets where they're very slow moving. They got big power, low frequency. They don't do things very often, but when they do, you know it. You know, that kind of thing, right? Okay, yeah. I All don't right, know listen. If that, hey, that person's question or not, that, but that's the way I would like to answer. Spot on. So, listen, we'll have you on again in a few weeks. I think we got another one coming up around the 21st or 22nd. Do you want to book that yeah, in one the, of those two days? That's going to be huge. The weekend of the 20th, I promise you, Larry, will be okay. huge. I, <laughs> okay, yeah, so we're going to we put you on stuff. the 20th. How about that? Yeah, I'll go 20th. for that. Okay. You're, we're putting yeah. you right ahead of Mr. Write, write me in Powell. On your calendar there, if Mr. You don't Powell mind. wanted that day, but I'm going to scratch him off. And okay, uh, George Soros will scratch him off. So you're going to be on Norm Winsky on the 20th, okay? Fantastic. I like that. All right. And, All right, and that, that weekend, we're going to have a new moon. And yeah. I think we got Uranus turning uh, direct. You know, anytime you have these station points when the planets mm -hmm. go from going retrograde to direct or direct, direct mm -hmm. is forward, direct to retrograde, that's called a station point. And that's, the, okay. that's one of my top points. When the markets change trend, yeah. I'm sorry, when the planets change trend, the markets change trend. Yeah. And if that yeah. happens on top of a new moon or a full moon, it's even more powerful. As you Norm. remember, Larry, yeah. May the 18th, 19th, 2015, Mercury turning retrograde on top of a new moon. Remember that? Yes, sir. That's the, high I remember, the, high the, year, the one high I remember the, the most year. of all the astrology stuff was November the 9th. Of 1990, uh, blah, 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 1989, when we had all that stuff, and um, that was a fall of the Berlin Wall. Thanks, Norm. We'll talk to you in, on the 20th, okay? All right. Thanks a lot. Please call you me, bet, folks. You bet, buddy. You. Bye, we bye. Give you a free class. Free class, okay? Okay. Thank you, pal. See you later. Thank you. Bye.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm going to add a new segment to the um, TFNN uh, program that I'm on that uh, during this time period that I have just to keep us interesting. I know you get tired of hearing the ABCD stuff all the time, but I work a lot with artificial intelligence and neural networks. And I just wanted to point out one today that I uh, was looking at. I can't do these for the 24-7 people because I, uh, I'm not able to get them out. This was the prediction for what the S&P was supposed to do today. You can notice it had a strong trend predicted up until this level right here, which happened to be the 51 50% retracement we talked about at 39.71, and now you see how the market uh, should have been going lower. And uh, I'm, what I'm going to do now is just to update you, just to show you what it actually did. I don't know how close it is to where it is right now, but it, it's dropped, uh, you know, well over 30 handles uh, from that level. So I think by listening to the show, and they only work part of the time, but when they work, they really, really do work. And if you remember. The one we had on just a little while ago or at the beginning was the, the natural gas. So what what I do is I run the program on natural gas and see what the you know the trend is supposed to be. And it's really interesting. And this comes right out of the floor traders handbook too of key times. You'll see here that the bottom was made right at the bottom with this last retracement. And here's when it broke to the upside. 
And that's the main thing of, uh, you know, what you want to be doing is trying trading with the trend when you're moving in the direction very, very quickly. Now, does that work all the time? No, it doesn't. But one thing we can do here at TFNN, we can make it profitable and we can make it fun. And I think we'll be able to uh, have some fun. We know for a fact that this thing only works about 65% of the time. But my goodness, when it works, you know, it's really great. That's why I was short the market and I got out. I didn't reverse like anybody that had any brains might have done, but would they have got out of the 50% level? I don't know. That's the real history of uh, these markets. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Remember, our guest tomorrow is Stan Harley. So may God bless.